In this Skyward Gradebook video, we're going to look at how to assign grades of X, I, or various other overrides that you can for any of the marking periods. In particular, we're going to look at SE1, the semester exam, because in a lot of cases, you will have circumstances, especially during the second semester, where a senior has met the exemption criteria and will not have to take the final exam. Every grade bucket, Q1, Q2, SE1, and S1, must have a letter grade inside of it. If you're not giving a final exam for some reason, there still needs to be an X where the SE1 grade is for each student. So to do this, I'm going to go underneath SE1 options, then to enter semester exam SE1 scores. You'll get a screen that looks like this, where you normally see grades getting entered in for the semester exam. Uh, just to the right of a student's score, you'll see something called override. The standard is to have a hyphen there, meaning that there is no adjustment to the student's score. I, again used for incomplete, would be selected if you were choosing to assign an incomplete. Remember that if you are assigning an incomplete for the semester exam or any marking period, you also have to make sure that the S1 marking period is also marked as incomplete and overridden. If you're choosing to do a final exam as pass-fail and you have agreement with your division leader on that particular thing, then you can assign a grade of P to pass the final exam or U if you're not passing the final exam. The other category that we'll look at is X, that's for exempt. If a student needs to, um, does not have to take the final exam, excuse me, then this is what you would assign. So for this particular student, I'm going to assign a grade of X. And then you'll see that in the SE1 column, there is an X that appears there. Then what will happen is, is the semester grade is going to be completely determined by the quarter grades. And the semester exam grade will not be figured in. Again, remember that it's imperative that every single solitary grade bucket, Q1, Q2, SE1, and S1, all have grades inside of them. That's due to state mandated reporting. Um, and there will be problems with error reporting in situations where grade buckets are left empty. So once again, thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.